I wore a shirt with a banana here because we are talking about products that have to do with fruits today. Berries specifically, but this is the only shirt I have that has any motif of fruits. So there you go. It is always a good time when we get to try new sunscreens on this channel, especially since we are in the summer season. If you are on the lookout for new sunscreens to try, don't change the channel. Hello, 안녕, Raymida, 반갑습니다. Welcome back to my channel, and if you are new, welcome, welcome. My name is Ray, and if you don't know who I am, that's okay because you can find out more about me here on all social media platforms. My skin type is oily, dehydrated, sensitive, reactive, and depending on the season, it can also be combination. Today, we are looking at Skin Foods' newest launches, sunscreens, modeled after key ingredients of different berries. The best part? They are all fragrance free. Today's video is made possible by Style Korean. Thank you Nasha for sending over these products for me to try and review. On this channel, we review Asian skincare products so that you can shop with confidence. Everything I say in this video comes from my personal experience. If you have any serious skin concerns, please consult your trusted dermatologist or esthetician. With that being said, let's go! Urikaja. Let's start with their Glowing Sun Cream. The key ingredients are cranberry and strawberry extracts. Cranberries are packed with vitamin C and salicylic acid. And strawberries have a natural exfoliating effect as well, which helps tighten pores and get rid of dead skin. This sunscreen also contains rosemary leaf oil, which balances the oils in our skin and serves as an antimicrobial agent. This is a physical sunscreen with titanium dioxide as the main UV filter. Basically, we call them physical or mineral filters because they sit on top of our skin. And because it sits on top of our skin, it is less likely to cause irritation since it doesn't travel deep into our dermis. However, the downside to physical sun filters is that there is always a white cast. This sunscreen's white cast is not too noticeable on cool toned fair skin. But if you have a slightly warmer toned skin, you will definitely notice the pastiness. It has a dewy finish, which I don't mind. What I did mind is the sticky feeling. And I also found the sunscreen to be a bit too basic. The texture isn't something you want to brag about either. It reminds me of spoiled milk. The packaging is designed so that you can actually tear away the upper portion of the tube. That way you can actually access the remaining amounts of products that are still left in this portion of the tube. And the packaging is literally the only thing I liked about using this sunscreen. I don't think the sun screen is for me because I just don't see myself buying a new one after this one. I will rate this sunscreen a C. I feel like it's just below average and skin food can definitely give us better sunscreens. Moving on to the sunscreen with the worst white cast out of the three. This is their Berry Soothing Sun Cream. It is made with another physical UV filter, Zinc Oxide. Indian Gooseberry, the star ingredient, is another great antioxidant that helps even out the skin tone and revive the dull skin. This sunscreen also contains strawberry extract, but what interests me the most about this sunscreen is the goji berry extract. Goji berry is widely known in Asia for its well-aging effects. It's also an ingredient that is supposed to help fight UV damage, so pairing this ingredient with sunscreen is a perfect match. The texture is a bit thick and it's almost like a soft balm. The olive oil and chamomile mild oil feel heavy on my skin while wearing this sun cream. The thick oils really help make this sunscreen highly water resistant but it's just not comfortable for me. In theory, this is supposed to be a very sensitive skin friendly sun cream, but I just can't get myself around to liking it. And that really is because of the white cast, the thickness of it, and how it feels on my skin. I will rate this sun cream a C minus. It is a great sunscreen ingredients wise, but the only place I can see myself using this sunscreen is at the beach, and that is it. Out of the three new sunscreens, this is the only one 
with a chemical UV filter. I will leave the UV filters on the screen for you to see because I cannot pronounce any of them. Other key ingredients include blueberry extract, which is a powerful antioxidant that boosts collagen and acts as a natural retinol. Mulberry extract, which evens the skin tone and helps with reducing hyperpigmentation. Barberry extract, a great acne treatment ingredient. And of course, strawberry and goji berry extracts, which we covered in the previous sections. The texture of this sunscreen is very watery and lightweight. This one reminds me of my favorite sunscreen, which is by Skin1004, and it is their Hyalucica Sun Serum. It has a translucent quality to it right out of the bottle, but it blends into this beautiful sheer finish. So in that sense, it also reminds me of Mixum's Centella Sun Cream. All that is to say this sunscreen has no white cast and the texture is simply gorgeous. This sunscreen perks up my skin with a dewy glow. And this one is also the most hydrating sunscreen out of the three. It also gives my skin that long lasting hydration, which I love. I would wear this for about five hours and I would still feel chokchokada. The only negative thing I'll say about this sunscreen is that it does sting my eyes a lot. I noticed that my eyes also felt a lot drier whenever I am using the sunscreen. The final rating I'm going to give this is an A-. Amazing texture, beautiful formulation, I love how it feels on my skin, but because of the sensitivity around my eye areas, I think that's why I'm not going to rate it an A-level product. At least for me, I feel like this product is the best option out of the three, but it's just not like the best sunscreen ever. You might be asking, why Ray? Why have you not demonstrated the application of these sunscreens on your face yet? That's because I wanted to do a side-by-side by side comparison of all three sunscreens. We normally don't get to try sunscreens from the same brand and the same line all at once. So I feel like for this special occasion, I wanted to do a side by side by side comparison. Let's get right to the face application. So one more time, Urikada. There you have it, my thoughts on Skin Food's newest sunscreens. I didn't love any of them, but I feel like if I had to pick one to be my favorite, it would have to be the blueberry one, which is the moisturizing sun cream. Thank you Style Korean again for sending over these products for me to try and review. 감사합니다 Style Korean and thank you so much Nasha. I will leave all the products links in the down bar below for you guys to check out in case you guys are interested. Please help the channel grow by subscribing and sharing this video with your friends. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time. But until then, be safe, stay hydrated, and most importantly, be gentle with yourself. Annyeong! Come back for more! Chuseyo!